So we are here with Coach Jeff Small, who's been with Marshall University since 1995. Um, obviously, it's a very exciting time with the Marshall Classic returning this Saturday with the men's program beginning. So just an opening statement, and then we'll have questions. Okay. Yeah, we're just really, really super excited about the, the return of men's track, and we want to thank the Board of Governors and President Smith and uh, Mr. Spears for for bringing the, bringing the program back. We're, we're really excited. We've had really We've heard from friends from around the country that, that were really excited to hear that Marshall is bringing, bringing men's track back and stuff. So at our convention last, last month, the national convention, we had a lot of, lot of people come up and how'd you do it, that type of thing, you know, and, and so it's, it's exciting. We're really, really happy. Do we have any uh, questions for Coach Jeff Small just about the state of the program, men's or women's? Yeah, I mean, it really means a lot to me because, you know, that was a kind of a dark time when, we, when the program was dropped and uh, for all the kids that had to leave or, or whatever. So it, it, it's, it means a lot to me, and I think uh, it means a lot to a lot of people around the state, and particularly to our track and field alumni. They're very excited about it, and we're having a, um, uh, a get-together with those guys, uh, the, the, our, our, our meet in February. And so we're looking to, looking forward to hosting them uh, with a return to men's track. Can I ask the same question? Just, uh, you know, some of the football guys have uh, dealt uh, on the track side during the offseason. How beneficial is that for student athletes to you know, be able to come to Marshall and, you know, and recruit multi-sport athletes? Um, yeah. Well, I think it. I think it can be huge for us, and it can be huge for the football program to to be able to offer that. Uh, I know in the past we probably lost out on some good football players who wanted to run track, but we didn't have the opportunity to to offer that to them. So, uh, if we can become that school where you can go to Marshall, play on a fantastic football team, and also be able to run track, uh, I think it's just a great opportunity. Uh, you know, I really think it had a lot more to do with uh, Christian Spears and President Smith than, than the, the move to the new conference. Um, I know that the new that Sun Belt really welcomed the the idea of us bringing the, the program back, and that they were allowing us to just kick it off right now in January and get going. So, you know, I owe, I think we owe a lot of uh, gratitude to the Sun Belt Conference for 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 winging it and letting us. Uh, compete right off the bat. So, uh, you know, that certainly has a lot to do with it. Uh, we really don't know what to expect. I mean, we're going to be, we're going to, some of those football players, we're going to be teaching, teaching them how to get in the blocks tomorrow, you know, so we were just sizing them up for some shoes and stuff, you know, but we've had, we had a roster of 35 on the track team. Which I think is 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 awesome. Fortunately, lost four four to grades that semester, but um, uh, we're you know we're I think we're really very pleased with the turnout and um, it's their wide variety of of uh, uh, talent and ability. But we're um, we're just excited to get started, and uh, we have one one young man from the cross country team that is actually going to turn out we think to be a. Uh, potentially a score at the Sun Belt level uh, at the Sun Belt Conference in in the in the decathlon. So, you know, it's just stuff like that is is, is exciting. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we really are. I think this is going to be our best female track and t field team we've ever had. Uh, we're going to be able to, I think, score at the Sun Belt in almost every event on the track. Um, there may be one, one or one field event that I can think of that maybe we won't be competitive in, but top to bottom hurdles, our relays are just going to tear it up this year. Uh, I expect big school records in both the 4x4 and the distance medley indoors. and. 
Um, we have a, uh, you know, Micah Elaine, who's been in the NCAA championships twice already. Uh, she's looking fantastic. Uh, the, the distance runners that uh, Caleb has coached up are, are just uh, are, are just light years ahead of where we've ever been. And um, Coach Yenis and Coach Ryman and throw sprints, hurdles. We're, we're, we're really excited about the, the, the females this year. <laughs> yeah um we actually we think we've got a one of these kids is faster than Rasheen and uh but we can't find a spike that fits them <laughs> so so uh we're working hard on it right now we just went downstairs to check to see if any new ones had come in you know but it's going to be really exciting I just I just hope that uh that they, I tell you, number one, there have been some really nice kids, really nice kids. So, you know, we want nice kids in our program. And, and uh, so uh, I think the it's going to be really exciting. You know, I think it's going to be fun to watch. And I don't know how fast they are or how slow they are or anything like that. So that's what the automatic timing is for on Saturday. I'd love to see Tavion try the high jump. <laughs> I mean, uh, he may go to the NCAAs right off being All-American. But uh, well, actually, there's two baseball players that work, worked with us uh, the last couple months and are planning on, on staying with us until they get go to their 20-hour weeks uh, this semester. So um, those are the, the you know, the, we do have two baseball players. Uh, but Tavion's the one that kind of comes to my mind. Now we have um, Coach Caleb Bowen. Thank you, Coach Bowen. Mm -hmm. um, coach Caleb Bowen is the head cross country coach um, and assistant track and field coach, Marshall alumni as well. Just wanted to tell us a little bit about the, you know, his thoughts on how this will help the distance programs as well. So opening statement first for yeah. Coach Caleb. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's going to be really fun. You know, me working with the distance kids, both the men and women, I mean, we're, like Jeff said, we're light years away from where we were even just a couple of years ago. Um, we have some really stud athletes that who become leaders over the past couple of years, like Abby Herring, Sydney Smith, uh, Kylie Maston. And on the men's side, we have guys who never been in this role before during track season, but they've developed into some great leaders as well. Uh, Brad Armbruster, he's from Cabell Midland High School. Um, Ronnie Saunders has been a great leader so far this past semester. Uh, he's from Wheeling Park. And just a ton of guys like that, Evan, Evan White. And we have some really good athletes coming in, like uh, Matt Schenenberg and Demile, uh, and a few others. So it's going to be really fun. Um, just this first meet, this is our first meet for the distance athletes. Uh, back in December, we had a meet with just solely throwers, sprinters, jumpers. So this is their first opportunity to compete. Um, and it's going to be great. I mean, they're all really excited. Um, I've never seen the energy level this high before, especially for, for this first meet. So we're, we're pumped. Um, big questions for Coach Bowen. Well, um, so yeah, I did run a 62 mile race on Saturday in Bandera, Texas. Uh, it didn't go as well as I wanted it to. Um, it, it turned into a struggle uh, at mile 40. And I almost quit, but I didn't. You know, had a lot of uh, thoughts of quitting, but uh, the, actually what kept me going was the kids on our team. I kept thinking about how I pushed them really hard in practice and they would be very upset if I quit. So, I, I mean, I think it's, uh, I think being a runner yourself helps helps the athletes understand that like I know what they are going through because I've done it myself and especially whenever times get really dark you know in the middle of a long distance race uh, it, it's something that it's something that's familiar if you have a coach that has been there before and it makes you just feel a little bit better about it and you can trust in it and that trust I think is the most important thing that any coach and athlete can have uh, no matter what sport you know if you don't trust your coach you might as well not even be in the uh, in the sport 
So yeah, I've done a lot of uh, long races like that, and I hope that it helps inspire the kids. Uh, I don't know if it does or not, but I'm, I'm hope hopeful it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, usually the, the 40 ball mark's a tough one. <laughs> um, what will it mean, though, to have the men and the women back together uh, as a team? I, I just, like you mentioned, the camaraderie and, you know, the fact that the men are back on campus. I mean, it's just overall the program, how's that going? Oh, it's unbelievable. Because usually I like to focus on the men during cross-country season just because that's what they only had. And then I'd focus on the women a little bit more on the uh, indoor and outdoor seasons. But now they're both together, and it's just been incredible to see them support each other. Um, the, both the men and women's distance sides, they're practicing together every day, uh, sometimes running together in the same workouts and stuff. So I've seen a lot of growth from both programs, just helping each other out and uh, inspiring each other. Because all the men know that Abby Herring is a stud. I mean, she's beaten a few of them. So they have a lot of respect for some of these female athletes and likewise for the men you know they've grown up together for the past four or five years and it's really fun to see them you know hype each other up uh even those long bus rides back from you know penn state or lehigh that's where you see the team really mold together and uh it's been incredible this past like year since we've added men's track it's just been light years of like ahead of where we usually are No. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if he's ever run cross country, but he just seems to have the, uh, the right tools for some type of jumping event, maybe long or pole vault maybe, but definitely high jump would be the one. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone.